I'm Sjoerd, um, and I'm here to talk about a critical challenge, and that is the global shortage of graphical processing units, otherwise known as GPUs. So as everyone knows, we live in a world where AI is pretty much everywhere. It's used in, throughout the industry, in every sector, um, helping with innovation, uh, solving problems, uh, and driving efficiency. But this progress is heavily reliant on an increasingly scarce resource, the GPUs. And this is not just a minor inconvenience. This is a significant roadblock um, in realizing the full potential of what artificial intelligence can bring. But what if we can turn this around? Today, I'm excited to introduce to you Nosana. Um, we're an innovative project that leverages Solana technology um, to bridge this gap, um, and we're building the, the world's largest decentralized compute grid to do this. Um, by directly connecting um, GPUs and AI users, we um, yeah, are really revolutionizing the way we can utilize compute power. So yeah, first, I'll be going more into this uh, problem, the GPU shortage, um, and its implications, after which I will introduce you to our, uh, um, uh, to our network, uh, what Nosana is, how it works, um, what are the benefits of, uh, yeah, of uh, using Nosana. I will also showcase um, a few screenshots of our platform. Uh, we're currently in a private beta, which we are very excited about. Um, and lastly, we'll have a look at how the future will look with, uh, with Nosana. So yeah, the global demand for artificial computations, artificial intelligence computation, exceeds the available on-demand supply. There are basically not enough GPUs to run artificial intelligence computations at this point in time. So to quote Elon Musk, for example, GPUs are considerably, considerably harder to get than drugs at this point in time, referring to uh, acquiring a bunch of GPUs for one of his, uh, uh, his ventures. This is an article from the New York Times, a recent one, The Desperate Hunt for the AI Boom's Most Indispensable Prize, also referring to um, uh, startups trying to get their hands on affordable GPUs uh, and having a really hard time uh, doing so. Uh, NVIDIA themselves, NVIDIA, as, as, uh, as you all will know, is a, is a, a supplier of, of, of uh, GPU chips. They're having a hard time to, uh, to, uh, uh, to keep up with the demand. Uh, they basically cannot build enough GPUs um, for the needs of, uh, of the demand. And then a final tweet uh, referring to the uh, current pricing that, uh, that you're now paying if you would, if you would uh, rent a GPU in the cloud uh, nowadays. So this tweet refers to the H100 chips, uh, the, uh, GPUs, which are really on the, on the higher end of, uh, of the GPUs that you can um, uh, use in the cloud. But just to rent this for a month, uh, you would pay uh, $72,000. So just think about how much you would pay for uh, training a model like uh, ChatGPT or another model that requires a lot of GPU computations uh, to train it. And then if we look at where is all this compute needed for, um, of course, it's not just AI. Uh, the GPUs are not uh, used for just AI, but it's a very significant part um, uh, of the industry. And in this graph, you see uh, over time uh, how much compute is, is used um, in um, nowadays artificial intelligence uh, models. Um, and then on the axis uh, going up, I don't, <laughs> laser's not working. You can see um, it's growing exponentially. Um, so compute is usually measured in what is called floating point operations per second. Um, and you see not only the amount of uh, um, uh, models increasing, but also the amount of compute needed for those models uh, to train them over all the uh, 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 categories, ranging from games, language, uh, speech, and vision um, for artificial intelligence. So yeah, to summarize the implications of this GPU shortage, then specifically um, on the AI industry, is like, yeah, the innovation is stifled. Um, it goes uh, less quick because of the, um, the shortage we have with GPUs. Also, the cost increases uh, for GPUs, which makes it very inaccessible for a lot of people uh, that would you know, try um, um, to, yeah, uh, to participate in the AI uh, industry. 
inequitable access to GPUs. Um, yeah, of course, large enterprises with, uh, with more money will have an easier uh, access to GPUs than the smaller people. And overall, there will be a slow down progress in artificial intelligence research. What can we do about this? Very excited to introduce you all to Nosana. Um, we've built a network, a decentralized network, uh, where we allow miners, gamers, uh, MacBook owners, MacBook owners with a GPU inside, so basically anybody with a GPU, to lease their GPU on the network um, through the Solana network and allowing AI users to execute AI computations uh, on their devices directly. And this is, of course, all done in a secure, cost-effective, and uh, efficient manner. And before I'm going to show you or explain to you a little bit how that works, first let's have a look at yeah, what's actually needed uh, to run AI, right? So roughly speaking, there is two um, uh, versions of AI. First, you need to train a model. And after, after it's trained, once it's ready, you can use it. Well, training is called training, and then the usage of a model is, 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 is usually referred to as inference. Um, and especially the training um, is most computationally expensive. Um, to give an example, uh, ChatGPT4, uh, which is the most recent one used nowadays, uh, did cost $100 million just to train it. And they're predicting that ChatGPT5 will, will need an approximate of 25,000 A100 uh, GPUs to train it. So we can only guess how much this, uh, this is going to cost. But there's yeah, that's, that's really a lot of compute needed for these, uh, for these types of models and algorithms. Inference, on the other hand, is a lot cheaper. Uh, you do require a GPU for it, most often. Not always, but, but, but uh, most often you do. Um, but the problem is that cloud GPUs, so the um, uh, AWS, Azure, um, uh, Google Cloud, the GPUs they offer are not really optimized um, to run inference, as I will also show you in a, in a minute. But to give an example, Stable Diffusion, uh, which is an open source uh, uh, model which converts text to images, um, takes a, roughly around 15 seconds per image to generate, which is really a long time. So we actually did a research on this matter um, and compared the consumer version um, of this GPU. Uh, so we took the GTX 3080 from NVIDIA and compared it to the equivalent card they have in cloud, which is the T4. And as you can see, um, so the average cost uh, for 1,000 images running this stable diffusion uh, algorithm is like 85% cheaper um, if you would do it on a consumer card uh, than in the cloud, and it's much faster as well. So bottom line, consumer devices, retail devices, the ones we buy for, uh, for at home uh, or to mine, uh, for example, are great for inference. Um, yeah, so here's an example of an RTX card, but also like uh, nowadays MacBooks have very powerful GPU chips inside them. But how do we connect these GPUs with users? Um, so yeah, this is a technical diagram of how it works. Uh, so in the middle, you see the uh, Solana blockchain uh, represented by blocks. Uh, and in the bottom, you have your AI developers or the users of any given AI algorithm. And what they do is they on-chain, they post a job uh, to our network, um, which we, yeah, we have a number of uh, Solana programs uh, making up for the network. It's all open source. Um, and then there's nodes listening to these, or they're, yeah, they're pulling the blockchain looking for these jobs to execute. Um, and then, yeah, once they've finished the, uh, 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 run the algorithm, uh, run the inference, they post back the results back to the uh, users and get paid for it in a direct transaction. And that's it, really. It's a decentralized way for connecting users with uh, uh, GPUs. And it's an open marketplace. So yeah, Nosana allows you to earn a passive income by renting out your hardware. If you may have bought an uh, expensive GPU for gaming that you do not use all the time, you could opt for, you know, uh, maybe on, uh, uh, at night or when you're not using it, rent it out on a network, let other people use it uh, to run AI algorithms and get your investment back uh, for your card, for example. And then on the other hand, our platform enables companies, or really anybody, uh, to run AI inference uh, on your devices.
So yeah, to summarize all those points, uh, the benefits of using Nosana is that it's up to 85% cheaper uh, than using cloud compute uh, compared to AWS, Google Cloud, uh, or any big cloud provider. It's an open compute marketplace, uh, so prices are fluctuating depending on demand and supply, of course. It supports many workloads. Um, yeah, it's, it's in private beta. Uh, we see it's highly performant, it's quick. That's also why we chose uh, uh, to build our programs on Solana, of course. Um, and for, yeah, for each different algorithm, uh, we're building what we call connectors. So these connectors allow you, um, which I will also show you uh, uh, in our demo in a minute, to seeming, uh, uh, seamless uh, 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 interact with the algorithm. So just have the results uh, of AI. And then, of course, we also have the, 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 the Web3 major benefits. It's transparent. Everything's on chain. Uh, everybody can see what's going on over there. So let's have a look at our demo. It's a few screenshots that we uh, um, uh, did also in a workshop on Wednesday, which was a great success. Um, so what we've been working on is what we call a browser node. Um, Oh wait, let's first have a look at this image. So this, yeah, so this is an example of a stable diffusion uh, result. So the prompt that was given is a photograph of an astronaut riding a horse, and then the algorithm returns of exactly this. That's nice, right? Um, so yeah, this is what you can do on the network. So this is one of the things we've built. Um, the, we call it our explorer, uh, which basically gives you a looking glass into each job that has been run on the network. You can, yeah, for example, you can go into each job, see what has been computed, for, for whom, uh, uh, what has been paid, how many nodes are active on the network. Um, and it's live right now. Um, most of the jobs are currently run on DevNet, but yeah, please have a look. It's, uh, like we're very happy with it. And this is the, uh, the thing we showed in the workshop uh, a few days ago. So our, our, the, the most conventional way of running a node on our network and share a GPU would be on a containerized environment. But in addition to this, to make it more simple for everybody just um, yeah, to, to generate some passive income on the side, we've also uh, created what we call the browser node. And with the browser node, it's, 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 um, it's fairly easy just to open a tab, uh, log in with your uh, uh, favorite wallet, or generate a key pair on the fly. Um, and then it will load um, the specific AI model um, uh, that it's trained for in your browser. And you can opt for the compute grid that you want to participate in. So like I said, we're still in private beta. Uh, so this was just an, uh, like a small uh, uh, pilot we did in the workshop. But it was a great success, because everybody in the audience uh, that we had there um, uh, uh, plugged in their device. And we run Whisper, uh, which is an, uh, uh, another AI model which uh, converts speech to text. So basically, you would send it any given text memo, and it would return the text of, uh, uh, of that memo. And, and it works just like that. Um, so I'm, I hope I'm not standing in front. But what, so what will, will uh, then happen is it will automatically enter a queue uh, where it waits for a job uh, to execute. And once it's in, um, you will process it, uh, process it, post it back uh, to the original user, uh, and afterwards get paid for it. So yeah, uh, I left mine open for a while. It was, it's, it's on DevNet, so it's not, uh, it's not actual money. But uh, yeah, I was able to earn some, uh, uh, some tokens just by doing this. Uh, so yeah, that's it. The future with Nosana. So how does it look like? So we're set out to democratize compute power. Uh, we want to make compute uh, as accessible as possible and uh, not let all the big cloud providers uh, um, uh, be the only providers of it. Our network is more cost efficient, as I showed, uh, than cloud providers. By doing this, we increase our resilience uh, against the GPU shortage. Um, and it's really nice uh, just to build this global grid, um, like a collaborative network, to solve all these problems and accelerate uh, the AI progress again. That's it. Um, if you're interested in joining the private beta, uh, please reach out. Um, our whole team is here. Uh, I will be here also. Um, this is my Telegram handle. 
Um, we're also doing a race currently. Uh, uh, we're conducting a seed round, so if you're interested in that, please also reach out. I will be here or on Telegram. Uh, this QR code uh, will set up a meeting with us. Um, yeah, so, uh, so get in touch. So yeah, thank you for your attention. <laughs>